Hello, I've gotten a request to do a instructional video on how to use the smooth scene transition asset for Unity. And so to do that, I've created a little game with two scenes. There's a menu scene and a game scene. I've added each scene to my build settings. And I'm just using the vanilla scene manager to change between scenes to start. So we have a menu, and when we click Start, it starts the game. You can roll the character around, and when he collides, you go back to the menu. In my menu, I have a Start button. That Start button is pointing at the menu controller Start Game. If I open that script, we can see that I'm just calling the scene manager dot load scene. If we look at the game, I have a player controller. The player controller has a collider event here, and it also calls the scene manager. All right. Now, to make it use the smooth scene transition asset, all we have to do is change scene manager to scene loader. Then include the namespace. Okay, save that file. And we'll do the same thing for the menu. Change it from scene manager to scene loader. And add the namespace. Okay. Now, when we load our game, and click Start, it's now using the Smooth Scene Transition asset. Also, when I collide my character, it's also using the Smooth Scene Transition asset. Great. Now, to do some further customizations, we would go to the Resources Katos Games Scene Transition Prefabs folder and click the Scene Loader Prefab. There's a number of settings that you can change out of the box. We can change turn on VR support if we need that. Um, you can also use a scene for loading. This has a slight um, disadvantage in that the asynchronous load of the new scene can only start after the loading scene has started. Whereas if this is off, it can start loading immediately during the fade out. So you get a slightly slower load time, but um, you can do more interesting effects with a full scene, such as 3D objects. You can also um, change what it's using for the loading screen, the fade color, uh, how many seconds it uses to fade, and then the minimum loading screen time. And this can um, be changed to zero, which would mean that um, it may in fact skip the loading screen um, if there is nothing, um, if this scene is already loaded. So. Um, I'm just going to customize this and change it to black. So when I start my scene and start the game, it's now black during the fade. Okay. Another thing that you can do is if you add your loading scene or scene loader to your scene, it'll actually do the fade at the beginning right there. Um, so that's sometimes a desirable effect. To further customize, <clears throat> you could actually add the scene loader to each scene and um, change the properties per scene. So here I'm changing it to red.
and we'll see how that looks. So it starts with black, and then once it gets into the new scene, it changes to red. and back to black again. Now, if you would like changes to your loading screen, you can fully customize it. You can swap out the spinner, you can delete the spinner, change the loading text, delete the loading text, whatever you'd like to do. It's up to you. Well, I hope you've liked this quick tutorial. If you have any questions or need any further help, there is a README file right here that you should check out. And also you can email info at katosgames.com. Thank you.